And good morning. This is Sunday Brunch. I'm Chris McCarthy. Thanks for joining us. We're going to go uh, now to our guest, which is Joe Good, a uh, reporter from the Far River Herald. With everything that's been going on in Far River, they've been doing some great some great journalism out there about what, uh, what's been going on or alleged to be going on in Fall River. Good morning, Joe. Thanks for joining me. Hi, Chris. Thank you. Um, yeah, I really appreciate you making some time for us. So tell us, Fall River, it's once again politically interesting. Well, I'm not sure if it ever wasn't. <laughs> I'm <politically> joking. Politically <laughs> interesting. Um, yeah, uh, the recent uh, uh, news is that on Thursday, um, and I was there, Fall River um, Economic Development had their annual meeting. Uh, there had been some, you know, there's backstory for sure. Um, there's a couple things going on. But what they, they announced was that there they were also approached uh, by the FBI um, looking for documents regarding the mayor, Jaisal Correa. So, uh, yeah, that was uh, that was pretty interesting news. Yeah. Um, do you do you did they produce any? You know, I've read through your articles on this thing, but just for the audience who, who may have missed some of it, did they pro- did they produce any subpoenas that the FBI had come in with? No, um, and I'll, I'll, I have not heard of any subpoenas. I've, um, I have talked to a few people um, in our city who have been, who claim they have been approached by the FBI and HUD investigators. So, oh, okay. um, to my knowledge, it, it, it's more of an investigative. Um, place that they're at right now. So. They're, they're doing an inquiry pre yeah, subpoena. Yeah. So you've talked to m- multiple people who say they have been interviewed or or have had contact with both the FBI and HUD. I, I will multiple. Uh, yes, I, I've talked to more than three. Wow. <laughs> yes, <we> okay. <laughs> well, because as you know, the, I'm comfortable talking. <laughs> sure. About it, so. Sure. Of course. And and uh, you, you, you folks have done great work on this. As, as you you may know, Jaisal Korea called here to Barry Richard on our afternoon program uh, on WBSM and denied the whole thing. And he's basically saying this is all a, an orchestration by Ken Fiola at the Economic Development uh, Board. Well, I can't speak for the mayor. I can tell you that um, at least a month ago, because these rumors have been, you know, Circulating, and they are rumors. I mean, there's no doubt. I mean, no FBI is going to come talk to a reporter and ask her questions, or you know. Um, so I, I'm just taking it on what I, I hear from people that I respect, right. frankly, um, who have told me different scenarios. Mm-hmm. But I did ask the mayor about a month and a half ago. Um, you know, ha- was he under an investigation? And he he said no. He didn't believe he was. Um, but he did say to me that he had um, just in case, and that was that is a quote um, that he had gotten lawyers just in case. So. Oh, all right. Well, that's uh, that's an interesting uh, that's an interesting perspective. Now, explain this, Joe. We're speaking with Joe Good of the Far of a Herald uh, here. Um, there is a interlo- there's a layover here or an interlocking, at least within the allegations, that this involves, at least partially, M- Mayor Jaisal Correa's former business, Snow Owl, which was an, an application, a web application. C- can you talk a little bit about that? Well, sure, I can. I, I, um, uh, the same day that it came out that there, there's an alleged, alleged um, FBI investigation, According to Froed, um, I did. We did um, a story on Snow Owl. It had. I had started um, investigating it about mm, last July. Uh, just, just on, it, just curiosity, really. Um, but it turns out, it it appears, and at least by the um, one of my sources who did go on record, one of the the uh, investors that. $80,750 that he invested, um, he's seen no return on. Um, the app 
uh, was never completed. So uh, there's at least four other, um, three or four other investors that I've identified, um, some on record, some I can't get on record. Mm -hmm. Um, So it looks like there might have been about $300,000 of investment with no return. Um, So he did run on that as as an example that he was a, a businessman. Right. Um, but I think there's some folks that might might have invested that would would have a different story to tell. Yes. Um, it, the, the, yeah. We're you're speaking guess, with Joe Good from the from the Far of Herald. You can read all these stories at heraldnews.com if you want to get caught up on this, uh, because it, it is very your reporting has been very detailed. As you point out, uh, I'm at risk. I can't pronounce that dentist's name. Uh, that's why I'm not going to do it. Cavaceres. 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 Yeah. And he went on the record with you explaining he don't he he invested in in the mayor's company. He doesn't feel comfortable about how that went down. Uh, and it, and in fact, his son was working for the company at the time, according to your reporting, and he's the one who brought his dad in, right? Well, I, w- I won't, no, no, I, I disagree with that. Okay. Because actually I, I did interview his son before I interviewed the father. Okay. And he he had no idea that, um, according to the son, had no idea that the mayor had approached his father. And, of course, he wasn't mayor at the time. He, right. He had fresh out of college, um, had no idea at the time that his father had been approached to be a major investor. And it wasn't until later that he, 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 he in fact, the, his father learned from the son that the app never was finished and that they really weren't anywhere near what, what at least Jaisal had represented it, if I understand. That, that, is, that, is, that is the information I got from them, yeah. Now, yeah. is the, is this... Because it's a little obscure to me. Is your is it, explain to me? Is are they uh, are they alleging like a real connection between money that may have been spent? Well, where do they say the money was spent from these HUD grants, or where is it? What are the allegations there? And and does that have any crossover with with Snow Owl? Well, um, I I think the connection with Snow Owl, and again, uh, allegations, I'll, allegations, and again. There's a few things happening here, you know, a few lines of stories, if you will. Right. Um, but I think, I believe, what Froed is alleging, when they they point out three different investigations, is that um, there's a company that was brought in, actually a very reputable company, who is, you know, churning out jobs, uh, good clothing, happened to be brought in by a state rep, um, introduced to the mayor, and what happened was that she was brought to this space in the city for her, um, you know, to, to, you know, create her presence in the city, and it happened to be the space that the mayor was um, renting out and got a $25,000 grant to come to the city, take that space, and and that was for rent. So I guess not knowing the investigation, I guess you could put, you know, two and two together that maybe what the feds are thinking is that there was influence to bring this company in rent space that the mayor no longer wanted for his business um, and got a $25,000 grant to take who, space. Yeah, no, uh, Joe, who, 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 that, who, uh, uh, who received the grant, the, the, the new person or the, ma- or the, fo- or, or the, or the mayor before being mayor? The, the, the person that, the owner of New Clothing received the twenty-five thousand dollars grant to go to rent rental space. The rental space happened to be the space that the mayor had been renting for Snow Owl. And when you say so, had been renting, was he still under? Did he still have an obligation in a lease to to be to be paying rent there? 
In other words, was this was this new tenant then basically assuming his lease? Is that one of the allegations? Am I? In a, I'm, you're just asking here. I have no idea. I, I can't. I can't. I've I've been trying to investigate that. Okay. Um, I have talked to the the owner. Um, she claimed to me that um, everything had been paid up once the new tenant went in. So. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, now, there's uh, other... it's still unclear to me. Yes. There, there are other al- allegations here. That one of the allegations that Mayor Correa makes is that is that uh, Ken Fiola's organization, Froad, Froad um, they owe a hundred and thirteen thousand dollars in back rent uh, to the city of Fall River, and that's one of the reasons they're going after him is because he wants the, that organization to pay pay the bills on that. Is there is that has that been substantiated? Well. It, it it was sort of a bill. I'm just coming from somebody who covers City Hall. Um, from my knowledge, is it was a bill that was presented just two weeks ago. Um, they've been up on on the sixth floor, right around the corner from the mayor's office. Um, Must be a comfortable environment at up there. Least three terms of, as you know, we've gone through. You know. A few mayors in a very short period of time. Yes, um, I'm I'm looking into who else is in the city, you know, city entity who's not paying rent. I I haven't gone there yet, but this one, you know, this 130k bill just appeared um, two weeks ago. Okay, within the last two weeks, so. He had about a year and a half to give them a bill, I guess. I okay, say. okay. Um, now, you, you, speaking of the politics of um, of Fall River, here on the W here on WBSM, when when Jay Korea called in to speak with Barry Richard, and, and we do have the recording here up on WBSM dot com, and we also have a link to your story as well. So, uh, you know, because he, he called it to take issue with the allegations, he's he uh-huh. sort of alluded to, or within the conversation, there, there was a they alluded to the fact that maybe. Um, Ken Fiola's wife, State Representative Carol Fiola, may be interested in running for mayor. Is that is that out of left field, or have we heard that? Um, no, it's not a left field. It, it's actually been the accusation that um, all again. I, I I'd like to really kind of chug back to something that um, might have triggered everything was the mayor. Sort of out of nowhere, and and I'm 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 not editorializing because we were all taken by surprise. Decided that he wanted to create his own redevelop development authority, okay. um, economic development authority, which he has every right to do. But that's when he called a meeting for the redevelopment authority, who has just really gotten some funding. They have funding behind them that they've never had before, and that was with the sale of the Amazon property. Um, so he, the mayor came out, again, within his right to um, create this development authority on his own behind, you know, Aside from Froed, and he was looking to use some would, of the money would, that would take it would take funding away from Froed. So, so that was all sort of new. Okay. And um, yeah. And that and that and they're alleging he was doing that in in a retaliatory way. Um, if I if I'm reading your article correct. Well, yeah. I mean, that that's again. That's, I can't. Speak for the mayor. I, you know, again, he has every right to develop a new department for, you know, economic development. Uh, but what he's doing is he's essentially wanting to fund it by defunding an organization that's um, not political, I guess. <laughs> <would say> so. <laughs> right, right. Well, and and I have um, 
you know, I, I, I have paid attention to over there for quite a long time. That, that chunk of land over there that borders Freetown, they've done a lot of development over there. Really, a lot of the economic de- growth in southeastern Massachusetts has come from that piece of property uh, over there and all the different stuff that went into it since it they built It certainly has, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's, but um, there's I all kinds it, of... I think it pretty much put almost 4000 I'm sorry, $4 million into the coffers of the Redevelopment Authority that they haven't ever had. Yeah, it's um, before. So, uh, what Which about is, Sam Sutter? Have you heard anything about Sam Sutter maybe making a return to Fall River politics in the wake of the these allegations? Well, I've heard yes, I've heard no, I've heard yes, and I heard no. So <laughs> same here. Know. Hey. Uh, We've been speaking with Joe Good from the Far River Herald uh, about the you can you can check out all of her work at uh, Herald News. It's HeraldNews.com, right? Yes. Yes, HeraldNews.com. Um, I want to thank you so much for making time uh, for us this morning on a Sunday. I really, really do appreciate it, and on short notice, folks. Uh, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> all right. Have a wonderful day. That was um, that was Joe Good, a reporter for the Fall River Herald, and she's been on top of this story. Um, on the dispute between Ken Fiola and Froad uh, and Maisel, M- Mayor Jaisal Korea II, as has Barry Richard. You know, Barry, uh, they broke the story. Barry's been building off it. You can, um, the easiest way to check it out, go to WBSM.com. There you get a link to uh, Joe, Joe uh, Good's story. Uh, and, and, of course, you also get a, to listen to what Mayor Jaisal Korea told Barry Richard uh, last week. Guys, I'll take a quick break. We'll be right back. Um, just be glad you don't live in Fall River. And if you do, good luck. 1420 WBSM.